You may have a gun. Your neighbors may have one. It's why police in our area say you might actually be part of a growing problem. Bad guys are getting their hands on some serious firepower at an alarming rate. In this ABC 13 News investigation, I examine how some criminals are getting those weapons in a story you'll only see here. The bad guys captured on camera armed with a gun. They're in and out of this local store in no time. A frightening scene. Something else that's terrifying, the kinds of weapons criminals are getting their hands on. It's happening in Lynchburg. So what are we looking at? Uh, so this is actually a 7.62. Uh, it's a AK-47 variant. It's not fully automatic. In Danville. 7.62, nine millimeter. And this, of course, that's going to be semi as well. Nothing here's full auto. And Roanoke. Most of them are handguns, but we high capacity handguns, but we do see shoulder weapons now being utilized in many cases. They're weapons that could be used against police or even you. That's a lot of firepower. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. These are these are all guns that that, that have been involved in some type of criminal act that are now um, off the street. I requested information on the number of stolen weapons police in Roanoke, Lynchburg and Danville have seen since 2015 through the end of October this year. Danville recorded 499 weapons stolen. They saw their highest amount in 2017. In Lynchburg, some 398 stolen firearms were reported over the same period with the most in 2016. Roanoke gave me numbers for this year only. Their total through the latter part of September, 85 guns stolen. I also looked at 2018 data from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, or ATF. The number of firearms recovered and traced in Virginia last year, top 10,000. The top 10 cities, Richmond came in first with 1,450, Roanoke was fifth, and Danville ninth. So where are the stolen guns coming from? Around here, police are saying the same things. Where are these guns coming from? Where's the primary source for, for these criminals getting their guns here? The vast majority of what we're seeing are coming out of either vehicles or houses. Continuously, folks leave their automobiles unlocked. In some cases, they actually leave the residence unlocked. Detective Hans Bloomquist with Lynchburg Police says the numbers prove there's a real problem. In the past five, four to five years, 34% of the stolen firearms that we've had in the city have come out of vehicles. Another 34% have come out of burglaries from homes. But Captain Steve Richardson says things play out a little differently in Danville. Probably the two largest have been vehicles and the straw purchase. A straw purchase is when someone is legally able to purchase the gun, but intends on giving it to someone who is not legally able to own it. It's also a crime. They may have a friend or family member who is old enough to buy it and put it in their hands, um, and then they use it for criminal activity. Research also suggests that nearly one quarter of stolen guns are taken from cars and other vehicles. People have a habit of leaving guns under seats and in compartments and vehicles, and we've been had a lot over the last three or four years. Is there a way to safely and responsibly store your gun in a vehicle? There are vehicle lockboxes that are available for purchase, but the safest way that you can store your weapon is in a either on your person or in a safe in your house. Police say responsible gun ownership is a safety feature you can never put a price tag on. Now, in most states, and Virginia is one of them, gun owners are not held responsible for a stolen gun. There's also no law requiring someone to lock up their guns at home or in their cars. Owners are not required to report their lost or stolen firearm either. Tonight at 11, I'll show you some fairly inexpensive ways to keep your weapons safe and secure and potentially away from those bad guys. I showed you how criminals are getting their hands on some of your weapons. They're doing it by stealing them from cars and homes. As our investigation into stolen guns continues, police and gun safety experts alike say you can help reduce the numbers by taking matters into your own hands. Police in our area know that for some bad guys, getting a gun is as easy as taking a leisurely stroll through your neighborhood. The vast majority of our vehicle larcenies are not smash and grabs. It's people walking down the street, pulling on door handles, hoping to get lucky. That's the take in Lynchburg. 
This is what Roanoke Police Chief Tim Jones had to say about it. And it's not uncommon for our officers from RPD to have to take a larceny report where two weapons have been stolen, left unsecured in the same car. In fact, police believe the stolen gun issue may be far greater than anyone imagines because in the Commonwealth, you're not legally required to report a stolen weapon. Take your weapons inside. Once they're inside, we have another 34% that are coming out of homes and burglaries. But police and gun safety experts say taking a weapon inside is just the first step. Even if you're at home, lock them up in safes, put gun locks on them, obviously for children, but lock them up to make them hard to obtain. That's where places like SafeSide Tactical come in. Here, along with the many types of weapons you can buy, are devices you can purchase to keep your firearm safe, like a pistol vault. Small, usually the size of a shoebox or smaller, and we could have a key lock, it could have a combination lock, it have, a, now they do biometric with your thumbprint or even swipe a little badge. They have larger safes for your home too. They can be pricey, but they'll likely make a criminal think twice about trying to get your firearms. We would ask you to please to lower that chance of being a victim because that's putting guns out here that in hands of people we don't want them. Now, I showed you earlier just how many guns criminals have gotten their hands on in Lynchburg, Roanoke, and Danville. To see that story, head to WSET.com and search stories.